What up? And welcome to another episode of From the Script to the Screen. Dun 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 edition. Episode 3 of season 1 is out now. And we got two chapters this week covering chapter 3 and 4. So as always, shout out to the studio, Science Saru. And want to give a shout out to the creator, Yukinobu Tatsu. More of a laid back episode, but they did start off with a bang and we officially got introduced to Granny, also known as Miss Ayase's grandmother. And she officially steps in when we see that Ayase is tired, exhausted, knocks out, and Ken loses control of the curse and is trying to prey on Miss Ayase. So she takes offense to that, makes sure that she protects her granddaughter. Right off the bat, my favorite panel of the week We see that the spirit was no match for grandma. We get an explanation for that later on, but at least, like I said, it did start off with some action and we officially got confirmation that Miss Ayase's grandmother definitely knows what she's talking about and that she is well-versed in the spirit world, is a spirit medium, and so she should be listened to. But the rest of the episode is just more informal and we do see that she explains to us that the situation with Turbo Granny is a little complicated because not only is it a curse, but it's also a location-based spirit and they have come together and have grown more powerful. And we also saw an instance of that because like I said, since it was more of a laid back episode, they were trying to plan for how they were gonna take on Turbo Granny, thought they had time to get a little stronger and then try to exercise the curse. But she ended up showing that she's stronger than what we thought and let Miss Agase know that at any time it could come to a stop and she'd be able to curse everybody around Ken. So the timeline has been rushed along and at the end of the episode, we see that they prepared to go on now and see what they'd be able to do. We have seen instances with Miss Ayase's powers being stronger. And after a conversation with her grandma, this is something that she hopes she'll be able to pull out during the battle. Since we know things have been personal for everybody involved. A funny episode as well. We see that grandma's making joke on her granddaughter Ayase because she could tell off the bat that they like each other. Even though Ayase plays off to be a pretty cool person, she has been somewhat of a loner. And the fact that she's caring so much about this kid has actually brought him home. Grandmother could tell right off the bat that she probably likes this kid a little bit. So it's pretty funny, kept poking at her. And Ayase's actions were hilarious as well, since we know that she was trying to downplay it. And even with Ken, we see the same thing that even though they bicker at each other, they do care for one another. And so their exchanges are hilarious as well. But Definitely looking forward to episode four. Should be action packed since they'll be taking on Turbo Granny. But as always, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. And to the manga readers, let me know what you guys thought about the adaptation. Till next time. Peace.